Okay, so you can kind of see the progress where I'm at on this acrylic painting so far. This warm light, cool shadow. I've exaggerated the temperatures quite a bit. I've tried to frame the warms with cools and the cools with warms kind of on purpose so you can kind of see what my thinking is. Uh, so if you look at for example, if you look in this area, these warms of the warm side of the apple are framed by these cool. Try to think about complementary. So the warm yellow greens um, are framed by uh, blue violets or violets. Then over here with the cool side of the apple, they're framed with kind of the complements as well. The biggest thing that I want to reiterate at this point is the exaggeration of lightening or lighter shadows. So if you if you look at the photo reference and look at the contrasts, uh, this is very dark. The, this is very dark. But yet, when you look at the painting, I've lightened uh, the shadows probably two value steps. They still it still reads as light and shadow but it, I get more of an atmosphere, I get more of a temperature change. Um, this photo reference would be considered more a tonalist where they, uh, where artists would just re rely on the lights and darks of an image. This uh, warm light cool shadow acrylic painting is more of an impressionistic uh, take on the image and that's what the impressionists would do. So more like Monet and some of those guys. So that's kind of an update. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish the stem. That's kind of the last thing. I'll kind of render up a few little areas. I'll, I'll probably push a little bit more variations in the in the shadow and in the foreground area. And then we will finish this up and you'll be able to now uh, embark on the warm light cool shadow part of this assignment the acrylic assignment. So I'm going to remove my I'm going to remove my lid from my acrylic palette and you'll notice that I haven't painted on this painting for a day or two and the paints are still nice and wet and ready to work. I keep my brushes in the palette so that they won't dry out either even if they do got my water off to the side because I'm gonna kind of blow up on this just a little bit or enlarge it so you can see a little bit more of the detail work bear with me all right so I'll do my very best here to to uh, get that into a place where you can see see it a little bit better so I can do some of this detail work. So you should still be able to see that um, stem. It's transferred on there. It's the last transfer that I've done. Ah, sorry. And uh, now I'm gonna kind of jump into that and just show you. So this back to front, dark to light, uh, large to small, desaturated to saturation, um, principles that I've really tried to uh, instill into this demo are they maintain themselves all the way down through even the smallest of details. So with this with this stem now I'm going to carry on that same principle. So I'm going to mix up um, I'm going to mix up some you can't see right now because I'm mixing on my palette I'm going to mix up the dark shadow color of the stem and then I will uh, build up the lights from, uh, from the shadow color. All right, and then we'll play around with some details. So let me just get where I need to be with the mixing. Dip into the water just a little bit. And I'm going to try to keep nice contrast with that. A little bit of um, 
Again, I'm going to kind of exaggerate. In the photo, the, the stem has quite a bit of contrast, which means lights and darks. And I'm going to, but its local color is a really beautiful, rich kind of brown red color. So I'm going to kind of might exaggerate that just a little bit so it's it's a complementary thing with that green apple. Again, I'm going to lighten the, the contrast just a little bit so it maintains this atmospheric thing that, that I've been trying to maintain this whole time. And then we'll go from there. So I'm just basically going to silhouette the stem. And I'm going to play with some of the thicks and thins, some of the expression. I'm still maintaining the drawing and the reality of what was there, but I just exaggerated it just a little bit. Okay, so that's pretty dark. But again, that's my silhouette, and that's where I kind of wanted to start. And I'm going to try to maintain that uh, dark to light. I've already done the back to front with everything else, so now that this is the foreground, okay? So that is pretty pretty dark. It looks a little out of place with the with the um, the rest of the apple, but now I'm going to start building up on on that um, silhouette, and I'm going to start to build up the lights. So from the from the uh, my paint was getting a little thick and juicy, so I'm going to thin it down just a little bit. So I'm going to from that shadow color. I'm going to start to build up, mixing right like I did with the apple. I'm going to start to build up. Now I'm going to keep maintaining that it's a warm light source that's hitting on that stem. I'm going to catch some light on that top part of the stem. And then it swings down onto the, the side. And you can t start to see what I'm going to do. Mix a little bit more light. So I grabbed white, but since it's a cool and I'm thinking of a warm light source, I grab li white to lighten the value, but then I reach over and grab yellow and a little bit of red to make it an orange so it still maintains that warm light source. So I'm going to start building that up. Dark to light. I'm going to maintain what I'm going to try to do and try to, to get that light source on the stem to match the light source that's on the, the body of the apple. Okay, so you can start to see that now. All right, so I'm going to keep pushing that just a little bit more. I'm going to go a little bit more. I've got the value that I want, but now I'm going to go a little bit more orange. Hit some little. Now I'm going to start to hit some little details. And then what my last what my last little demonstration will be when I get this to about where I want it to be, then I'll come back in and I'll cool that shadow side of that stem down just a little bit so that it maintains that that atmospheric feel to it. All right. So I've got the, the warm light really starting to work with this. The video is not picking up the, the really beautiful warm temperatures. It's kind of blown out. Okay, so 
So there's that. And then I'm going to reach over and I'm going to grab a little bit of blue violet so that it maintains this type of an idea into that into that um, shadow side of the, the the stem. Now I'm keeping in mind the local color of that stem, which is a kind of a brown. And so I just grabbed some of that original shadow color, which was kind of a dark red brown. And I mix that in with my exaggerated cool temperature color so that it maintains that idea of local color. All right, so there is the stem of the apple starting to take on a little bit of the more atmospheric exaggeration that I'm trying to play with and e explore so that it's a, a little bit of a fun twist on just a regular tonalist looking piece. Okay, so that's kind of the last little piece of demo that I'm going to play with and then I'm gonna I kind of like some of the I, I added a little bit of viridian green to that so I'm going to it's a little dark for down there on the on the cast shadow but I'm gonna just grab some of that it's kind of a really beautiful cool green that I want to kind of bounce around in there and play around with those violets you can kind of see that and it's going to give some harmony to that those colors that I just added. Okay, my paint's getting a little bit thick and, and it's drying out on my palette. So I just grabbed a little bit of um, water to mix with it. If um, you come from the oil rendering, the water acts as liquid to thin the paint out just a little bit, make it a little bit more transparent. But again, acrylic will dry so much faster and you won't have to worry about that. All right. Okay, so let me scoot this over just a little bit so you can kind of see where I'm at. I've got the exaggerated stem. I did the dark silhouette with local color. Then I exaggerated the warm light on it. Then I came back in with some cool temperatures and added some of the cool temperatures into the shadow so it's warm light, cool shadow. I'm going to play around with a little bit more details. I'm, I'm starting to bring a little bit of fun uh, color exploration temperature wise cool into the shadow now. Just kind of pushing and pulling and getting some variations and maintaining a little bit of the value but I've really exaggerated and lightened the values and it's still even even with the the values being a little bit lighter with the shadows it still reads as light and dark or light and shadow so play around with this just a little bit more like the um, what the impressionist would do if you look at those impressionists and you look at how many different um, variations they have in the in the lights and in the darks with their warm uh, temperatures and their cool temperatures it's really fun as long as you can maintain and match value you can have a lot of fun with getting all of those different variations and if you maintain some of those uh, values then it sometimes turns into arbitrary color but that's a lecture for another day so i just brought some warms into there a little bit too warm i'm going to cool those temperatures down or blue them up or put violet into them just a little bit more so it maintains that cool temperature but gets some fun variations going so i just added purple to those 
warms or the, to those reds so that it would still maintain a cool temperature instead of going opposite into the warm temperatures. Okay, might need to be a little bit of a bounce light into that, into that uh, shadow side of that apple. Playing with some complementary colors up into those cool greens. Now I'm doing some cool reds or some cool violets. So it kind of maintains that fun uh, complementary thing as well. All right, so that's about where I'm at. Let me let me um, hold that up to the camera so you can see it a little bit better. Sorry, it's a little blown out. I'll uh, try to get a little bit closer color. Uh, representation at the final stage. Okay.